Hi, this is Linda and today we're going to have a look at cutting, splitting and joining designs. Okay, so all I've done at the moment is I have dragged across onto the workspace two of the continuous line designs. And what I'm wanting to do today is I want that top part there and this top part to be connected as one design. So if I go into sequence view, I can see that both of these are classed as groups and I know that they're both, if I click on their stitches, and I don't want them as stitches, I want them to be artwork. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight both and I'm going to change them both to artwork. Now if you have a look across here again at the sequence view, you can see that they're both classed as groups and I don't want them to be groups either. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup. And now you can see that they're both two separate pieces of artwork. So what I'm wanting to do is split these designs about there and then I can join the two loops together. So I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to right click about there and I'm going to choose split line. And now you can see if you look over in the sequence view I've now got three pieces of artwork and you can see where that one is and it was connected. Okay, I'm going to do the same with this one, so left click to select, right click, split line and now you can see I have four pieces of artwork across that side. Now, if I have a look on these bits here, I can choose that one and I can delete. So I'll select and delete. And now I know that that one is selected and I can delete that one. I don't need those two anymore. So I'm going to drag this one across here and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. So now what I want to do is to connect that to that. I'm going to select them both. I'm going to right click. I'm going to utility and I will click connect. There is however, if you look to this side here, a shortcut, control and T. So you can use whichever you choose. You can either use the buttons or you can use your mouse. So I'm just going to connect. And if you look down here, you can see it jump together. If I do that again, so if I undo, if I zoom into that area for you, I'll select them both and I'll do Control and T. And you can see them jump together. And now if we go across to sequence view, you can see that that's just one piece of artwork. So now that I have that, I want to slice the top off this one. So I'm going to select, I'm going to click the slice, which is up here on the top and it looks like a knife. And I'm going to just click and drag across to the side. I'm now going to select and you can see that I've got a blue line there where I placed the sliced, uh, slice line but I've also got a blue line here, a connecting line. The slice tool tries to create closed um, designs. So now I have to get rid of that line. First of all, I'll show you how to break them apart though, because if you look over here, it is still classed as one piece of artwork because I haven't told it to, to split away from itself. So I'm going to select, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to click break apart. Now if you look over here I've got two pieces of artwork so in your sequence view I've got that one and that one and I can select them individually so I can take that one away and this one is still separate but I still have to get rid of that blue line. So if I go to edit, select it, if I click on that blue spot, right click, split line, right click, split line, select that one, drag it away and I can now delete that or do whatever I want with it. Okay, I hope that's given you th food for thought. How to join and connect some of the designs to make different ones. Have a play with it, show me what you can do and I'll see you later. Bye!